All right, let's make an erosion rate map. So we need to use the raster calculator to take this trimmed erosion map and do a couple of things. The first one is, if you look here, you can see that that you know erosion, which is going to be the positive difference between our interpolated mesa surface and the current topography, is is um, shown there up to 41 meters. So these negative values mean that there's places where the topography, the current topography actually went above our interpolated mesa sur surface. So first, we don't, that doesn't mean, that's uh, not meaningful to, for, for erosion. So let's get rid of that using the raster calculator. So what we can do is we'll uh, use our con command. So we're going to say here where the this extract raster one is uh, let's say greater than zero so that would be the actual erosion just return it this would be easier because then where that is false which means that we have negative erosion uh, it'll just be uh, not a number no data and uh, that'll be good so let's call that raster 3 and let's run it okay so now we have the result and what you can see is is there we sort of got rid of those negative values and uh, so it looks a little a little funny with these little holes there but it's just a kind of more precise representation of the true erosion map um, so now you can see we have a range of erosion uh, here in in the main channel is where the erosion is highest and that's you know we can see it's there's 30 meters we saw that here's one 34 up here uh, along the the Verde, uh, it's even higher, almost 40. And then as expected, it, uh, it gets low on the edges. So one thing that can be nice to look at is to use a 3D Analyst and look at Raster 3. And let's just do an erosion cross-section. So if we go across the uh, Salt River here and uh, look at our profile, and so what you can see here, this is, is erosion versus distance. And so you can see as we go across the uh, channel of the Salt River, we start at zero uh, and then up to almost uh, 30 meters and then down to about 20 as we, we go across there. So this shows us the variation in erosion across the channel. Very interesting and, and quite powerful. So then uh, the final thing we want to do is to compute an erosion rate ma uh, map. So we're going to go back to raster calculator and take raster 3, which is just erosion magnitude, and we'll divide by the time over which that occurred. And what I can tell you is that the, the uh, Mesa Terrace is about 400,000 years old based on cosmogenic nuclide dating. and so what we can do is say, okay, let's say this total erosion occurred in the last 400,000 years. Fairly simple uh, assumption. So we just take, say the erosion divided by 400,000. That'll be raster 4. Okay, so we get uh, now the result. It looks quite similar. This is the, the uh, erosion rate map. It's similar because it has the same color map, but you see the values go from basically 10 to the minus 10, or basically 0, to uh, about a maximum of 0 0.1, well, this is 0 0.0001 uh, meters per year, which is hard to think in, so you can also uh, get rid of a few zeros and say it's 0 0.1 millimeter a year. So low erosion rate, which is what we expect for this kind of tectonic setting. So uh, one thing we should do is give this a different color map so that it's um, kind of a little bit more compelling, something maybe like this one. And then we can make it, uh, um, put it over, so semi-transparent, over our hill shade. That looks pretty nice. And then one other thing to do is remember you can change the names of these. So this is erosion rate in uh, meters per year, and this is important to do before you forget, like I would. And let's change this one just to erosion in meters.